Data collection for the latest countrywide household income and expenditure survey has started. And this survey will run for 12 months, from November 2022 to November 2023. Statsasay has trained approximately 400 field workers to collect detailed information on household income and expenditure from approximately 32,000 sampled households across all nine provinces. Our field workers are visiting homes in all types of settlements, in urban areas and rural. Uh, our goal is to interview households over a six week period. The first two weeks are to make contact with the household and to explain to them the information that will be required. This gives residents time to prepare for the four weekly visits to record all the data that will be required by the household questionnaire. Respondents will be asked questions on topics such as demographics, education, employment, social welfare, migration and health, in addition to their income and expenditure. Households will also keep a diary for two weeks in which they will record everything, that is physical goods as well as services, that anyone living there has acquired or paid for. The income and expenditure survey is unique in the sense that our field workers conduct multiple visits to a household and build a rapport with the household members to ensure that we collect all the required information. If your household is sampled for the survey, it is really important that you provide complete and accurate information throughout the four-week data collection process. The Statistics Act of 1999 makes it a legal obligation to participate in Statistics surveys. This essential information will be used to update the Consumer Price Index basket of goods and services to ensure that the products that are priced for the inflation measure reflect the current spending patterns of all South Africans. Accurate information on household spending means an accurate CPI. This is important as the inflation rate is a guide for salary and wage increases and is the indicator used by the South African Reserve Bank to decide on interest rates. Incomplete expenditure information could mean that interest rates are too high or salary increases are too low. The income and expenditure information is used to understand the levels of poverty and inequality in South Africa. SETSSA will calculate various measures of poverty including the poverty lines, which are used by government to help inform who qualifies for a social grant. Inaccurate expenditure information could also mean that government doesn't properly understand who should be paid a grant and someone might be excluded. The information obtained through the IES aids policymakers with up-to-date statistics to make decisions on a wide range of social and economic issues. Responses to the survey questions will help them understand who are the poor, where do they live, and what are their life circumstances? This information will help us better understand the driving factors behind poverty and inequality in South Africa. I would like to appeal to all sampled households to support Statsasay's effort in collecting income and expenditure information through the Income and Expenditure Survey. Thank you very much.